Today at ShopTap.com, we find out how much oil is left behind when using an oil extractor. Changing your oil yourself can be a pain. You have to put your car up on jack stands, crawl underneath of it, and potentially drain hot oil all over your face. Oil extractors suck the oil out of the top of the engine, which means a lot less mess and no hot oil face. This is especially useful if, like this car, the oil filter actually comes out of the top of the engine. That way you don't have to lift it up or go underneath at all. Now I know this very second someone is furiously typing, yeah, but it doesn't get all the oil out of the engine, then it'll leave sediment at the bottom of the engine, oil pan, and then it's gonna get sucked up by your thing, and it's gonna have metal in your engine, and... <sighs> That's a great statement. That should actually be a question, comment Carl. And today, we're about to find out. Before we get the oil out, we need to know what kind of oil this engine takes. Now I have access to all kinds of resources, but if I was a regular person, I would go to the owner's manual. Therefore, always have the engine oil and filters changed by suitably qualified professional. That's you at home. You write on yourself with a Sharpie, suitably qualified professional. <laughs> Volkswagen recommends contacting an authorized Volkswagen dealer or authorized Volkswagen service facility. We're not a Volkswagen certified uh, repair facility, but we are a facility that repairs and services Volkswagens. <laughs> because it said go to 280, and I think there's literally nothing on 280. Super easy to find the information you're looking for on this page full of nothing but a wall of text. <laughs> information regarding the service schedule of your vehicle can be found in your service schedule. The service schedule is included in your manual service schedule. So what that means is they sent us to 280 to tell us <laughs> to use this book right here. That's what they, that's why they sent us to 280. This makes sense. This is a really good user experience. <laughs> About fires, burning yourself. I think the lawyers have really gotten their hands on this one. <laughs> you see all these orange warnings? This is lawyer, 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 lawyer. Yeah. Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. Well, can yeah. lawyer tell us what oil to put in this? The lawyer hasn't gotten there yet. <laughs> this is the one on your radiator support. They have an example of where it might be right here. You look in your manual and it tells you to look at your car. If you don't have a label or maybe you're just in an emergency situation and you have your manual, if no engine oil meets the prescribed standard, you can use no more than half a liter engine oil that meets the following deviated standards, gasoline engines VW504 or viscosity is 0W30. What does that even mean, no more than half a liter? So they say you shouldn't put more than half a liter of any of that oil that is not the approved oil for this specific engine, which means you might as well just not put any oil <laughs> in at all. Be because half a liter, if you're half a liter low, it doesn't actually matter that much. Let's go and see if the other owner's manual has more details for us. Your owner's manual contains many helpful hints on what you can service yourself. First of all, let me start by saying this. <laughs> it's your car, you can do whatever the f you want with it. They don't tell you what you can. If you document all your services properly and you do it right, you can do whatever you want. That's actually illegal in the United States of America for them to tell you that you can't service your own car. You can check the engine oil level with every fueling. That seems like an oddly specific way to check oil. <laughs> sounds like somebody had some oil burning problems <laughs> and they want you to... Sounds, that sounds like that's, that was, this is a lawyer situation right there. <laughs> We've read like eight pages and all of it is just talking about servicing and it True. hasn't said anything. We still don't know what kind of oil to use. <laughs> we're still trying to learn what car daddy says we're allowed to do to our car. So the way they separate it is really pretty sweet. The way you can check. <laughs> um, and when I say sweet, I'm being completely sarcastic. So they have this 10,000 miles minor maintenance, 20,000 miles uh, standard maintenance, 40 standard and extended maintenance, what are minor standard and extended maintenances? Well, let's look at this. We need a secret decoder ring to figure out what that means. <laughs> I've decoded all this nonsense and we've made quick reference guides for most cars, uh, specifically Mark 8 GTI, and we will have Mark 8 uh, Golf R very shortly uh, and a lot of the other common models for people who DIY it. So I've made it very easy to read in a chart so you don't have to do all this. Have we figured out what kind of oil? <laughs> Haven't yet, not yet. So basically what we got in our owner's manual, we have zero information about <laughs> what oil to use. The only place you can find that information would be if someone like us told you, or you look at the 
right here, support right here. BW508 oil, that is the spec. The weight is 0W20. The official interval for changing the oil on this engine is going to be every 10,000 miles. Now, most enthusiasts and people who tend to be hyper vigilant with maintenance would do it every five, which I would also recommend. A couple notes before we get started. You will wanna make sure the engine is warm before you start using your extractor to suck the oil out. This will make the process go quicker and easier. In addition to that, all cars are not designed to have the oil sucked out of the top. This car is, VW and Audi is very common, Mercedes also does this as well. There's a lot of models that may not function this way because you may not be able to suck all the oil out through the dipstick tube because you may not be able to get deep enough or actually get anything in that hole at all. So just be aware this doesn't apply to all models, but it does apply to most VW and Audi models, which is what, that's what we, that's what we do. Our engine is warm. Start with removing our engine cover. Just pull up and it has these little studs that actually stick onto it that hold it in place. This is our oil filter. We're removing it from the car. 32 millimeter socket. If you don't have one of these, uh, link in the description where you can find one. You can see there's the paint mark from the factory where they made sure they tightened it. I'm not taking it out all the way. I'm just loosening it because I don't want to spill oil everywhere yet. Also taking off the oil cap. And as you can see, these oil caps are different than the old oil caps. So they have like these three tabs instead of the other one that had like kind of a twist lock guy. This has a twist lock, but it's a little bit different. And right there, you can see there's a timing chain tensioner straight down the hole, just right there. This is gonna totally suck. You should always check your oil before you drain it. That way you know what you started with. That way you know if you were underfilled to begin with and you can determine if you were burning oil, leaking oil or whatever. It was, it, this is a splendid oil level. I don't know why I put that back in, because I'm a <laughs> dummy. And that's why uh, I was really excited about the, the oil level, so I completely forgot what we were doing. So, stick this guy just down the hole. And really, you're gonna wanna kinda just push it down until you hit the bottom. You just pull off a little, because you don't want it sealing against the oil pan or anything at the bottom. Then, flip out our, our foot stand for stability, and we pump it up. Watch, just gonna slowly suck this oil. Look at that. Now we made a video a while back at a show, changing the oil at a car show, because we thought that would be kind of a neat thing to do. And we pumped it a lot. Now, a lot of the comments we got about pumping it a lot was that we didn't need to keep pumping, which that's true. So we're gonna stop pumping. But this is a super easy process, and as long as you have the engine oil hot, it's gonna happen super easy. Just let gravity continue to suck until you have the air coming through this, and then you can kind of move this around a little more to get a, try to get more. While that's happening, now that the oil is draining and it's not gonna be super filled in here, we can actually pull this out. Good, good. So this is the same oil filter housing as Mark 7s have, and this guy stayed in the hole that guy pops into the oil filter housing itself so i think they usually they come out in our case stayed in now while we're waiting for the oil to drain there we can change our filter and push this down pop it on and then you're also going to want to change your seal here all the oil filters come with new ones that one's so new it didn't even have any oil on it really i mean shocker when you change your oil at whatever 1800 miles or whatever this car has on it and you can kind of just roll it down. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you get a little bit of oil on here, old or new, just to get a little bit of lubrication because when you turn that in, you don't want the seal to bind on stuff and it could tear the seal, which could create a leak. Throw yeah, I've made, a, I've made a mess. <laughs> I really, I'm not happy about this decision. Uh, okay, so you can also look inside your, the pleats of your oil filter to inspect for any damage. Really, you're gonna find nothing ever inside this unless your engine's done. In which case, you would find like gold flakes and stuff like that, so. Some kind of red stuff in here. I have no idea, I've never seen that before. Your mark gate's broken. Oh no, our table, it's broken. <laughs> Now, if you're wondering, how can I suck the way you suck? Guess what? You can purchase one of these extractors at shopdap.com. Make sure you check out the link in the description below to find out one of these for your car. It will totally suck.
This car should take somewhere around 5.7 liters. This is six liters up here. You can see it's right kind of at that seam. So I would call it just over five and a half, roughly. We sucked out five and a half. Let's see what we got left. Going up. We're gonna drain our oil pan into this McDonald's cup. Hashtag not sponsored by McCafe's. I have a T45 Torx and we're gonna break it loose. The threads are, what is this thing, thread locked in here? What the, what the f man? <laughs> Make sure those new cars don't leak. Yeah, I guess. Can't be leaking on the lock. Yeah, you can't, yeah, they can't leak if you can't take it out. <laughs> There you go, there you go, folks. That's the oil that's left over. Is any coming out? Um, yeah, we're approaching a drip. <laughs> there, there you have it. You heard it here first, <laughs> folks. The amount of oil left over from not changing your oil with a drain plug is exactly zero amount of oil. <laughs> now, to be fair, in our all track video, some did come There out. was a little bit. So depending on the car, it does vary. On Mark 8's, uh, we got exactly 100% of the oil. Oh, there's a drip. There's our first drip. There we got it. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes dripping into our McCafe. All right, so five minutes, and uh, that's what we got. It's like when you're done with your coffee and, and like this stuff, this, this stuff at the bottom that's left over, that's all we got here. So I would say this is a shocking success. I cannot believe how little there was in this oil pan. I really sucked this thing dry. Now this is the old drain plug gasket. You're gonna wanna make sure that's off. And this is a shiny new drain plug. That's also magnetic. So if you're gonna suck out your oil, you can leave this magnet guy in and you don't have to worry about any contaminants getting sucked up by our oil pump. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. We have our new crush washer, which you gotta make sure you use the right one. And as you see, steel oil pan, unlike the Mark 7. This does not require a lot of tightening. So if you are a complete Neanderthal, don't over tighten it. Did you get all that Loctite out? Torque spec on screen. I actually think the paint is why. And if we look, watch, I'll show you. Come, come, come. I think when they assemble these oil pans, they paint them all together. So if you look at the drain plug, it has the same paint that's on the other side. And so they run this guy in and then they paint them all together. And this is why all this paint was in the threads and why it wouldn't come out. So it wasn't Loctite, it was just, just paint paint tight usually you can bring it to like a parts store that you can get bring used oil and they will dispose of it there for you or you can dump it in the grass oh uh, you shouldn't dump it in the grass <laughs> uh you definitely should not dump it in the grass captain planet does not approve of that with his powers combined he would stick his foot up your ass if he saw you <laughs> yeah that would be amazing if the new cartoon where captain planet sees people polluting and he sticks his foot up their we're gonna pop our oil filter in and spin her down. Somebody caught during our suspension install video that I was telling people torque specs while I was using an impact. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody caught that. It was a astute observation. Uh, I'll tell you the torque spec of this too. Click. <laughs> Don't crank down that too hard. People who do that end up with a problem because then you end up cracking this housing after, not on a new car like this one, but a car that ages, that plastic can become brittle and uh, can create some problems. Let's put some oil in our car. Oil time. Uh, this car is actually a heck of a lot easier to fill than Mark 7s because on Mark 7s, the oil cap, first of all, the hole is tiny and it's way back here. This one is m larger more prominently displayed and in the front. Downside, uh, this nifty funnel that we have that has a locking portion that has an adapter that works for Mark 7s and older cars, pretty much every Volkswagen or Audi ever, no longer works for these cars. So that's, that's cool. They, they're just switching it up on us. They're like, you know what? 
We got one special tool. Let's see if we can create some more. Perfect pour. You Are you ready? Perfect. Why don't you just grab a funnel? Pour oil without a funnel. Be a man. Dump oil all down the side of your engine. Be a man. <laughs> I've dripped as much during my very strong pour, and this is a really good pour, but I've dripped the equal amount of oil on the side of this cover right here that we got out of the oil pan. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. It would damage your catalyst, the sticker it would, says It so. would damage your cat. Well, you can damage your catalyst. You know when you damage your catalyst? <laughs> this happens. Uh, this is why you don't bring your car to like random oil change places. I've seen, I've seen plenty of these random oil change places drain the transmission and double fill the engine. <laughs> so they'll have 12 quarts of oil in an engine. <laughs> that will damage your catalyst. That's the kind of oil change that will legit, it'll just be pouring smoke out the back. Overfilled engine oil can damage your catalyst. In French, this says, don't let idiots change your oil. All right, pop that guy on. Let's put our dipstick in. Pop. Now, we're gonna start it up because this oil filter right here is empty. And so we need to fill the oil boop, up so we can check the oil. All right, let's see how we did. Oh, would you just look at it? It's an amazing pour, perfect pour. For the perfect pour, there's how many miles I got. 2,477 miles. That's actually more than I even realized. Here we see oil change service in 7,600 miles or 291 days. Is there a good reason to change your oil at 2,000 miles? Not really. Not really at all. Uh, there's no such thing as break-in oil in these engines. If you had break-in oil, they would have recommended an oil change during the break-in period. If you want to be precautionary, you can do that. Change your oil too much can't hurt, except for your wallet. <laughs> but buy it, buy it from us if you're going to do that, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Yeah. Buy it from us. Give me your wallet. <laughs> yeah, give, you know what? Matter of fact, just pack it up in a UPS box and send me your wallet. <laughs> now, there are two different ways you can reset your service. Like one of them requires an OD11 and it requires app credits. It's easy but I'm gonna show you the super secret squirrel free way. We're gonna start with these buttons on the steering wheel, which totally don't have fingerprints on them. We're gonna push this button to the side here. Now it's gonna show up over here. I didn't have this time distance travel thing, so I had to actually go, now I've done, I had to go into the settings and I had to go down here and check this box. I had to click okay, like that. It was like this, and now I clicked okay like that, and then I went back, then, Go down to time, distance, stuff. Hold to the right button. We're gonna keep on holding. Something like five or so seconds. Then release. See that? Secret squirrel. Oh, did, did it go away? Go down fast. I went, I, went, I got too excited about the what secret. What button are you pressing again? Your thumb is like... I'm holding this one right here. Okay, the right The The right d-pad we're not playing xbox. we're not playing xbox <laughs> all right release it go oh. then we go down reset inspection no because the inspection light was that seventeen thousand mile thing we just looked at oil change service that's what we did we changed the oil click ok and click ok again the service interval was reset congratulations secret squirrel going back into our status let's check to make sure our handiwork worked there we go 10,100 miles till we have our next oil change or 2,400, whichever you pick first. We recommend five for most people. If you care about your car, they recommend 10. So there you go. You've changed your oil. I've showed you how. Go, my son, and change it, your oil. If.